What's good everybody, Darkle here, back at it again with another video. But in today's video, everybody, we are now on episode 2 for Presence from Pidgey. Now, if you guys don't know what Presence from Pidgey is, it's basically the series where I open up fan mail and basically cards I buy online and whatnot that basically arrive by mail. Basically anything that arrives by mail regarding like singles or something along those lines, it will be in presence from Pidgey, as well as any piece of fan mail that you guys send to me. Now, if you guys do want to send me any type of fan mail, I will be leaving my P.O. box in the description down below. Well, it should always be in the description, so just check the description. You'll find a bunch of things such as my P.O. box, Patreon, and a whole bunch of other ways to support the channel. Now, there's a few things I wanted to point out in this video specifically. One, I have a different playmat put on for this video. Now, this is a test because usually when I put a playmat, that is not the color black when i edit the video it always comes out dark i don't know why maybe it's because black absorbs the colors or something like that i don't know i have no idea about colors you feel me all i know is i like black and that black playmat works the best in terms of video quality so if the video does seem dark let me know in the comments down below guys because i need your feedback because if you guys tell me that the video looks fine then I will keep switching playmats because I have more playmats that I want to use. I have like three more playmats that I'm going to be switching out, including the Tokyo Ghoul playmat. So that's going to make four playmats in total because I don't want to just have the same, you know, boring old playmat. But if it does seem a little bit too dark, then I will buy brand new dark colored playmats just so we can have something different every day of the week. You feel me? That will actually be pretty nice because it's not hard to change my playmat, honestly. All I gotta do is just lift it and then just switch it out. That's literally all I gotta do. But guys, I have this binder in front of me because I want to show you where I'm gonna put all of the fan sent cards, basically the highlighted cards. So if you guys send like bulk or anything like that, it won't be in this binder. But if you guys send like signature cards, unique fake cards, signed cards, anything like that it will be in the fan binder or if you guys send ultra rares like you guys did right here with the mega hound doom and the machamp ex in the cut as well as holographics because you got to show some love to your hollows you feel me so with that being said everybody i'm gonna put this binder to the side i was gonna throw it behind me but that probably wouldn't end too well I dropped it on the floor for now, guys, and basically, let me grab out the pieces of mail that we're going to be opening up. So here we have it, guys. We have a ton of mail to go through. We got a couple eBay purchases as well as some fan letters right here. I do have a ton more fan mail from you guys that I need to open, but I wanted you know, do it segment by segment, and then eventually we'll do like a live stream and then open a ton of freaking fan mail. That would actually be pretty fun. You know, vibe it out with you guys, talk with you guys, and all of that good stuff. But before we get into this video, guys, make sure you guys smash that like button for presents from Pidgey, episode number two. Make sure you guys subscribe, enjoy the ghoul army, and welcome, and don't forget to turn on that bell for post notifications just so you never miss a video. Without further ado, guys, as always, I'm going to start with the eBay buys and then we'll end things off with the official fan mail because it's always nice to end things off on a high note, which is the fan mail right here. So like I said, I have three packages. I order a bunch of random stuff on eBay all the time, so I don't keep track of what comes in, which is why Presence of Pidgey is a perfect, perfect series to distribute a ton of, you know, unique cards in one video to show you guys, you feel me? Just so, you know, it doesn't go unnoticed or anything along those lines. So in this first package, it is basically, I think this one is from, I, I forgot where this is from. I think it's like from Japan or something like that. Honestly, I have no idea. I literally have no idea, guys. But this is the first package right here, guys. Let's see what we're working with, everybody. We got ourselves a Reuniclus. I don't remember ordering that. I honestly would never order a non-holographic Japanese Reuniclus. So it's probably like an extra or something like that. Usually when I order cards online, it is always an EX series card. Let's get it, man. Check that out. We got the Blissey EX in the cut, which looks absolutely beautiful guys check out that pink pink oh it looks like a doll 
It honestly looks like a doll now that I'm looking at the artwork more carefully. But guys, that's the first card. Oh, actually? Okay, they're all in here. Come on, man. Don't do that. But it looks like this person inserted two free cards, which is a, a Moongus or Fungus. I'm pretty sure it's a Moongus. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's a Moongus. Correct me in the comments down below if I'm saying it wrong. I get confused of the starter, not the starter, the first evolution and then the second evolution. But I'm pretty sure that's Reuniclus right there. I'm always bagging on people for not knowing the Pokemon in Japanese text, and I'm over here forgetting them too. Hey, hey, I'm human, man. I'm human. But guys, we got ourselves the Blissey EX. Let's see what else is in this sleeve right here, guys. We got ourselves the Blissey. As I mentioned, we got the Groudon EX Shatterfoil, bro. That card is beautiful, man. Check out the pattern on that card, bro. That is beast looking. That is honestly beast looking right there. Check out the freaking Shard Hollow. That complements the card so freaking much right there, man. That is beautiful. Mwah! Perfection. But all right, guys, we're going to keep on moving. We're going to keep on moving. We got the Feraligator EX, which is a beautiful, beautiful card. I wish these were English, man. I know English is worth more, or I think they're worth more. I'm pretty sure they are, but I wish these were English because I love me my english old school ex cards but i i have love for the japanese as well you know the japanese old school ex cards i don't mind owning these because they are definitely definitely very beautiful and the final card is sharpedo ex now the main reason why i got this lot is because of this card right here this card is freaking beast looking i'm not even gonna lie this card is like freaking life it reminds me of jaws bro like this card I don't know. I remember having it in my childhood when I was younger. My brother had it, actually. And I've always, always, always loved this card, man. Do a quick little close-up of it because you guys need to admire this card. Just look at the artwork on that card. It is so menacing. It is ready to jump out and kill you. Literally, man. Literally. But guys, check that out, man. That is a beautiful card. That is a freaking beautiful card right there. I cannot say it enough. But alrighty guys, we got ourselves our four EX cards to start off this video, which is starting it off on a high note, honestly. I absolutely love that. Now this next package is definitely from Japan right here, so I'm not sure what this is as well, but I kind of opened it up a little bit, just so it's easier to open. But then, when I saw this card, I remember what it was. It is a freaking Ho-Oh holographic, if I can get it out without damaging it. Oh my god, yo! Who heard that? Who heard that? It's like literally cracking your back and just hearing that entire freaking crack, bro. That is crazy. Check that out. Okay, let's try to open this low key. Let's try to open this low key, man. I do not want to freaking ruin this card. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. There we go. There we go. Let's get it. Take off the other piece of tape, guys, because we got ourselves a beautiful Ho-Oh holographic right here. I'm pretty sure this is a promo card, but I'm not too sure, honestly. But guys, check that out. That is beautiful. It looks like Ho-Oh is missing its eyes, but it still looks like a beast card. If you kind of, you know, if you kind of angle the card towards the light, you can see its eyes better. But guys, this card is beautiful. I freaking love Ho-Oh. I freaking love Ho-Oh. Ho oh, oh man. And the final package that we got from eBay is right here. Now, I'm not sure what this is, honestly. I honestly do not know what this is. But then I kind of remember looking at these. Okay, I think these are all level X cards, if I'm not mistaken. I think these are all damaged level X cards, and I paid around like $7 for all of these. So why not just add them to the collection? You feel me? So we got ourselves a Magnezone level X. Armaldo EX. Now, the main reason why I got this lot is for this Armaldo EX because I just wanted this. This card, old school EX cards, like I mentioned, they are life and they make my Pokemon collection complete. The reason why I love Pokemon cards so much is because of these old school EX cards right here, man. They are just absolutely breathtaking, bro. So check that out, guys. It is a Pop Series Armaldo EX. Now, this Torterra and this Metagross EX are fake cards. So this is a fake level X card, and then we got a Metagross EX, which does not look like a regular EX card. That's why it's easy to tell. 
that this is a fake card right here, man. But the rest of them are real after those two. So we got ourselves a Mag Mortar level X, Infernape level X, Dialga level X, and then we got ourselves a beautiful Mewtwo EX or level X. Why do I keep saying EX when I'm trying to say another rarity? I have no idea why. But we got ourselves a Mewtwo EX to add to the personal collection. So we got a ton of Ultra Rares so far, guys. Look at all of these beautiful Ultra Rares. They are just, you know, old school Ultra Rares are just beautiful they are just beautiful man like have you ever taken the time to look at a card and you're just like wow that card is just beautiful and it is life you know because i love it so much and it is beautiful Alrighty, guys so let's get into the actual fan mail we're gonna be opening up two letters for presents from Pidgey, everybody is that everything right there so if you guys want to know my p.o box it is right there and guys if you don't want the mail people to bend your package just write do not bend and they'll try not to bend it obviously some of them are you know little mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that word that i cannot say because it's a family channel you feel me but and that will bend your package anyways but you can at least try to put it and hope for the best basically so we got ourselves a note right here guys and just so you guys know i keep all the notes artworks and all of that good stuff so dear dark ghoul i haven't been watching your videos for a very long time but i know you love your fans i sent you a little booster pack i hope you like it from the homie mercer i think that's your name mercer correct me in the comments down below if i'm saying it wrong but it's all good man you can take breaks from the channel and stuff like that i understand completely you can watch whenever you have time but any type of support is greatly appreciated like this guy right here who sent me a package for presents from pidgey and you know took the time to support even though they've been lagging on watching videos but like i said man it is all good you do not have to apologize or anything along those lines so let's go ahead and check out this custom booster pack right here let's see what we're working with man let's see what we're working with i'm not sure if there's a pack trick because there is a ton of cards right here so let's just open it normally oh boy oh boy this is a crazy pack i already see a bunch of freaking bo oh my god yo you are crazy why are you sending me okay okay let's stop let's stop let's stop we got ourselves a pidgeot spirit link we got a tornadus which is a freaking rare card a legendary rare card i think this is from uh furious fizz we got a diglet we oh my god not the professor sycamore are you serious man not the Professor Sycamore. Yo, that is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Oh my god. And you know how casual they said? You know, just custom booster pack. They didn't say like, you know, ultra custom booster pack or EX guaranteed booster pack. That's crazy. This is a surprise. Oh my god. This is a surprise. We got a freaking Magnezone EX. Oh my god. A Landorus holographic. You know, with that chocolate stain right there. You know, you'd be drinking that Nesquay or what? Let me know in the comments down below. We got a Cloyster and an Absol EX. Oh my god. And a freaking Kangaskhan EX drop right there, man. EX freaking drop. That is crazy. That is crazy, man. Look at all of these ultra rares. Especially this Professor Sycamore. That took me by the surprise, man. You did not have to do that. Like, you did not have to do that at all. This is why I love you guys. This is why I love you guys. But all four of these cards are going to be going to the fan mail binder. Just so you know, we have a pretty, pretty binder to show off whenever we do show off the collection that you guys created on your own. So let's go ahead and sleeve up this Magnezone and let's get into the final package, guys, of this video. Towards the end, guys, we're going to do a quick recap just so you guys know exactly what went down in this video. So we got ourselves a classic little red envelope right here. I'm not sure what's inside. I'm going to try not to rip, you know, if there's a letter inside. Okay, there is a letter. I see the letter right here. And we got a card. We also got a card, guys. So let's save the cards for last because y'all already know you're not supposed to spoil the card. You got to read the letter first. But alrighty guys, let me go ahead and take a look at this note. It does have an address, but it basically says, uh, can you trade these cards right here for a random EX or GX card or something along those lines. So they sent over an Agron EX as well as a Lugia break. Now the main issue on this is you're all the way from Finland, bro. So I'm not sure I'd never sent anything over there, but I'll try. I'm not sure why you want a random ultra rare for these three cards because honestly, I'd rather keep, 
you know, two ultra rares instead of one, you feel me? But I can definitely grab something out of my collection if you want and send it your way because why not? You're a supporter. I support you, so let's just support each other, you feel me? So I'll definitely send something your way. I'll try to send something your way and I'll try to get it out to you as soon as possible, guys. So with that being said, everybody, this is basically the recap for today's video. Obviously, we got ourselves two fake ultra rares. But this is everything that we got in this video, guys. We got a couple cards for trade and whatnot. But like I said, man, if you ever want a trade, a signed card, anything along those lines, you got to send postage, an empty envelope so I can send it back to you guys with the address. You know, basically paid postage and whatnot. If you guys ever want a signed card or anything along those lines, because it just makes it easier and smoothly. And if you do want to trade, contact me first because... I'm not sure if I'm going to have anything available for trade because I usually use all of my EX, GX cards and stuff like that on my mystery tins, on my mystery packs, and then I give them away to my Patreon supporters. So I do have a binder specifically for my Patreon supporters that I give out, you know, every month. You feel me? So just keep that in mind if you ever want trades. Contact me beforehand if you want to do a trade. But for signed cards or anything like that, all you got to do is send postage and we Gucci. You feel me? So these are the real highlights right here, guys. We got EX cards, full arts, level X cards, old school EX cards, old school hollows, and more old school EX cards right here, man. So I'd say this was a very, very successful presence from Pidgey. Without further ado, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you guys smash that like button. And without further ado, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. In the comments down below, guys, let me know if this video was dark or it looked normal as my past videos when I used the black Tokyo Ghoul playmat. Because I'm kind of looking at the lenses and it looks a little bit dark, but let me know in the comments down below, guys. Deuces!